you want your luxury saloon to make a bit of a statement, then the Jaguar XJ will certainly do that. It may be considered quite a left field option amongst the Teutonic Audi A8s and Mercedes S classes of this world, but if it's good enough for the PM, I think it'll do for us. With the XJ, Jaguar offered the straight jacket of a single style for decades. So when this version rocked up in 2009, it probably gave a few of the old faithful a heart attack. If you look a little longer though, you'll note that the proportions are still very much a Jaguar, albeit in a thoroughly modern way. I love this stretched teardrop window graphic, but the best view is when you return into the car after a round of golf, and you'll note that this blacked out C-pillar offers a graphic continuation of the rear glass to emphasize the visual width. Be warned though, this isn't the sort of shape to go experimenting with color, so keep it simple and the alloys big. As soon as you step inside the cabin, there's an intimacy and inwardness that are essential to driving and being driven in luxury. The long wheelbase version of the XJ affords rear passengers another 125 millimeters of legroom, and this glass roof increases that sense of space. Up front, there's a beautiful blend of old school crafted luxury and super high tech, as well as a touch of British eccentricity. You wouldn't find that in an Audi. The dashboard gets this wraparound carbon rail that envelops the entire cockpit, but there's also a heated leather steering wheel, fully digital display, as well as a touchscreen infotainment system that covers everything from your music hard drive to your heated leather seats, to even a dual view TV screen that simultaneously allows the driver to view the satellite navigation while the passenger watches the telly. The only downsides are that rear visibility is a little poor, which makes using the reversing camera essential, and the boot isn't quite as deep as a Mercedes S-Class. Chauffeurs should note that the XJ doesn't float and glide over bumps quite as well as its predecessors. However, the trade-off for that is that you get a much more engaging driver's car. The XJ uses a load of aluminium in its construction, and you can really feel that with every input being so light and accurate and precise. This range-topping XJ Supersport uses a 5-litre supercharged V8, and it is indecently fast, especially when you engage dynamic driving mode. But back in the real world, the best-selling 3-litre twin-turbocharged V6 diesel is still impeccably refined, still uses the eight-speed automatic gearbox, and it's pretty quick, with 0 to 62 miles an hour taking 6.4 seconds. The Jaguar XJ has both the class and confidence to move the game on substantially from those highly retrospective offerings of old, as well as challenge the dominance of the ultra-high-tech Mercedes S-Class. It may lose out marginally in the ride comfort stakes, but as something to be seen in, the Jag's in another league.